taking shelter in cooling centers, flocking to community pools, cooking breakfast on the pavement, chilling in a walk-in refrigerator. Americans across a broad part of the country are coping with a lengthy and dangerous heat wave this week as cities continue to break record high temperatures again and again. More than 91 million people across 15 states were under heat warnings Tuesday, and about 80 million, nearly a quarter of the population, are expected to experience an air temperature or heat index above 105 degrees this week, according to the National Weather Service. The longer the heat goes with record temperatures, the harder it is for people who are slowly demoralized over time, said Mark Hilbelink, executive director of the Sunrise Homeless Navigation Center in Austin, Texas. We've just been trying to get water into the hands of people who need it and make sure people are safe. Many cities across the country have opened cooling centers to provide safe havens for residents that are particularly vulnerable to the extreme weather, including seniors and people experiencing homelessness. At a cooling center in Austin, volunteers have been passing out bandanas soaked in ice water. The center typically sees 300 to 400 people a day and deploys mobile teams that provide water, hats, and sunscreen, Hilbelink said. When there's extreme weather events, we do see a surge of people, he said. U.S. sets hundreds of record high temperatures. More record-breaking heat is expected in the four corner states, Texas to the lower Mississippi Valley, and South Florida each day and overnight temperatures aren't expected to provide much relief, the National Weather Service said. Heat will reach levels that would pose a health risk and be potentially deadly to anyone without effective cooling or adequate hydration, the Weather Service warns. There have already been a number of heat-related injuries in recent weeks. Adding to the misery, Smoke from Canadian wildfires triggered air quality alerts from the plains to the Midwest to the East Coast earlier this week. It's been a lifesaver. There were at least 12 heat-associated deaths in Maricopa County, Arizona, in the first week of July, according to the county's Department of Public Health. Most recently, a 73-year-old man who went for a bike ride died from what appeared to be heat-related causes in a desert Sunday, according to police in Buckeye, outside of Phoenix. We are saddened by the loss of a community member, the Buckeye Police Department said in a statement. Please be safe in this extreme heat. Insidious danger, heat waves don't seem scary, and that's why they're so deadly. On Tuesday, Phoenix marked its 19th consecutive day of high temperatures at or above 110 degrees. We're in record-breaking heat wave right now, and the temperatures that we are experiencing, they're very abnormal, even for July standards, said Matt Salerno, a meteorologist with National Weather Service in Phoenix. In Arizona, a network of cooling stations are offering freezing cold water bottles and air-conditioned spaces to help people avoid heat exhaustion and dehydration. People can come in, cool down, sleep and make sure they stay hydrated, said Rudy Solis, the director of operations at Justa Center in Phoenix. The center focuses services on seniors facing homelessness but opens to everyone when temperatures surpass 100 degrees. Joyce Obiru, who has been experiencing homelessness since 2016, said she's been returning to the center daily to avoid time out in the heat. She suffered from heat stroke last summer and spent a couple months in the hospital. It's been a lifesaver, Obiru said. We can anticipate high peak records. As temperatures rise, electricity usage records are also soaring in the Phoenix metro area. Utility Salt River Project and Arizona Public Service both reported record power use over the weekend, and usage in the coming days could even eclipse the new high marks. Peak energy demands are highly sensitive to weather conditions, and when the heat and humidity occur over a weekend after a buildup of hot days, we can anticipate high peak records, 
said Justin Joyner, Vice President of Resource Management at APS, in a statement. Amid concerns about workplace safety during the high temperatures, Arizona officials over the weekend gave regulators new powers to inspect workplaces in industries where employees typically suffer heat-related illness. With the new emphasis program, the state can examine businesses for heat-related work conditions, even without a direct complaint. In the middle of a devastating heat wave, Arizona's workers need relief, Governor Katie Hobbs said in a statement Sunday.